Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 8. Decimal fractions. Topic B, tenths and hundredths. All right, so let's take a look at this group of area models. How many tenths are in one whole? So if this is my whole area model, how many tenths are in there? Well, there's ten tenths. So, how many tenths are in this hole? Ten tenths. How many tenths are in this one? One, two, three, four. So there's four tenths in that one. If I add these together, ten tenths plus ten tenths plus four tenths, we can see that that would equal 24 tenths. We can also write that as a decimal like this. 2 and 4 tenths. Now one of the things that we've been working on is that understanding that tenths can be multiplied and turned into hundredths. And we can do that by drawing rows to show that one hundred hundredths is equal to ten tenths. And the same goes for this one. And even if not all of the area models shaded in, we can do the same thing with our four tenths. And it changes our four tenths into forty hundredths. So this is showing us that 100 hundredths plus 100 hundredths plus 40 hundredths is equal to 240 hundredths, which is the same as 10 tenths plus 10 tenths plus 4 tenths equaling 24 tenths. Both of these are equal to 2 and 4 tenths. So how many tenths are in two ones? Well, I can represent two ones on the place value chart by drawing two dots or two disks in the ones column. So how many tenths are in two ones? Well, to figure that out, I can think about this one and I can decompose that into ten tenths. So I no longer have this one, I have ten tenths. And I can do the same thing with this one. I can decompose it into tenths. So instead of having two ones, I have twenty tenths. So two ones is equal to twenty tenths. There are twenty tenths in two ones. I can show that like this. Two ones is equal to twenty tenths. Now let's say I have two and four tenths. Well, let's see. I can still represent two and four tenths on my place value chart. Here are my two ones, here are my four tenths. I can decompose the ones just like I did before and turn them into tenths. And I can decompose this one and make it into tenths. This one becomes ten tenths and this one becomes ten tenths. Now I have twenty-four tenths. So two and four tenths is equal to twenty-four tenths. And really I could do this exact same thing for each one of these tenths. I could decompose it and turn them each into hundredths. So I would have two hundred and forty hundredths. So two and four tenths is equal to twenty-four tenths, which is also equal to two hundred and forty hundredths. 
Another way I can prove this is by using an area model. Here I have an area model that represents two holes and four tenths and I can separate those two holes into hundredths as well. So now you can see that I have 100, 200, 40 hundredths. 240 hundredths. Alright, so let's take a look at this one. Here I have 3 and 6 tenths. So how many tenths are in 3 ones? Well, that would be 30. There are 30 tenths in 3 ones. So how many tenths are in 3 and 6 tenths? It would be 36 tenths. And that would be equal to this fraction. What about hundredths? How many hundredths would be in here? Well, if 36 tenths are here, then we would have 360 hundredths. And if you need to see that with an area model, we can show an area model like this. I have three holes and I have one area model that has six tenths shaded. But you can see that this hole is really ten tenths. So that's ten tenths, twenty tenths, thirty tenths, thirty-six tenths. We can also show that three and six tenths is equal to hundredths by taking each one of these area models and separating it into a hundred pieces decomposing the tenths into hundredths and showing that the equivalence is still there. I still have the same amount shaded but now I have a different amount of parts. I have 100, 200, 300, 60 parts shaded. So 360 hundredths. Alright, that'll take care of things for lesson 8 where we're using our understanding of fraction equivalents to investigate decimal numbers on the place value chart expressed in different units.